I found a new place to put you if you don't mind my kitchen. Actually, this would be a good place because I'm getting a new fridge tomorrow because this one is ruining all my vegetables. Apparently they only last about six years. So yes, I've been here 12 years and I've got through two fridges. Very annoying, very expensive. Anyway, I've got you in a new place. Welcome to another vlog. Um, as you can see, I'm in a happy, happy mood. And it's very dark, because there's no sunshine at the moment. And it's only one o'clock, but um, this seems to be good for light. And it seemed to go down so well, me sorting through my wardrobe. What will I keep? What will I lose? Well, this is a keeper. This, you might have seen it recently, because I did do a live Instagram wearing this, this very week. Um, but I love this shirt. This is, again, pre-loved, vintage, God knows where. I think I got it in America. Could have been. Portland, Oregon, could have been vintage here. I can't remember because I wasn't into all of this then. So I didn't make a note and the label will mean nothing. But these are my paper bag jeans. Now we know paper bag jeans are deeply unflattering because they're so high in the waist. And look, even with the bra on, it looks as if my tits are down here. No, they're not. Look, they're fine. Um, it, but it's, oh, sorry about that noise. Shush computer, noisy thing. Um, so what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, it's deeply unflattering, but with this top, I'm only going to the hairdresser today to have a little trim cut. Um, I'm loving the long fringe. I think you are too. I just think it needs thinning. And of course, when it's dirtier, I can do the quiff. And that gorgeous gray, look, it's still holding, still holding. It's not as glossy, but that's probably because I don't wash it properly. Um, not as well. So I've got the paper bag jeans on. I'm talking louder. Still can't see me. Um, but you can see me enough. I'll get closer. There, I'm wearing little navy trainers. Oh, I think this can keep. Don't you? It's casual. It's a bit, it's not raining, but it's a bit drizzly. That's the English word, drizzly. So I'm going to put on my, I haven't shown it to you. Stay there. Oh, sorry, Jack, not quite ready. This is a new purchase because those of you who've been with me a long while will know that I constantly go dog walking in a khaki um, green one of these. What are they called? Very mod. Um, it'll come to me in a minute. I love them. Parker. This is a Parker with a little bit of warmth, but most importantly, because I'm having my hair done, a hood and not flattering. Oh, and I haven't got a scarf on. No, I don't need it for the hairdresser. Um, and this is charcoal grey. So I think that is perfect for dog walking. Days by the sea, I'm not, I'm only going to the hairdresser, I'm not meeting anyone for lunch, so I'm not making a huge effort. This is me making a slight effort. Now, obviously, I have made an effort with my makeup, but interestingly, I have bought, somebody did ask, and I don't know if I've answered you, I did see it on YouTube, somebody did ask if I was still having pyramid facials. Um... I'm not really, I'm having ordinary facials once a month because ever since I had that one in Bath, when she did huge amounts of massage, I've noticed that that's what perks up my skin better than anything. So I'm now having rigidly monthly ones with loads of lymphatic drainage. In fact, the last one brought out a virus that was lingering. So be careful. Um, but that really helps. But what I've bought now, which I've only used twice, but look at that. Look at that. I will do it properly. I'm not being sponsored. It wasn't free. I paid for it. But I bought something called New Face from Current Body. Um, and it's had the best reviews out of all of the little things you can do. And I think, girls, okay, I'm not in cruel light. 
but I think there's a distinct improvement and it's all natural and I can do it at home. That doesn't mean never. I still may do that little lunchtime lift thing one day, but you know that if I do, you will be the first to hear about it. Okay, so that's the outfit for today. And I should try and dress up more. Oh, and I'm going to London on Sunday. <gasps> um, yes, I don't know who I'm meeting, when or where, but I'm going to a, my favorite DJ, to, and why am I telling you this now? I'll tell you all about it when I get to London. Cheap hotel this time. Hello, popping in with another tryout. Now, it's not cold enough yet, but this is a new vest I got from uh, me and M, me plus M. Anyway, I'll put the details below as for normal, but this would be brilliant for when it's very, very cold. Very old shirt. Vintage, that is not going anywhere. Very old faux leather pants from Sweaty Betty that everyone loved when I got them. It must be about four, five years ago. How cool are they? I hope that's right. Stupid phone, stupid, stupid iPhone went into slow-mo just as I showed you the winter warm outfit. So you didn't see the fridge and you didn't see, well, I'm now dressed it down. So this gives me a good opportunity to show you. So I'm still wearing the shirt and I've got my much lighter, because it's still mild, pants, pants on, pants, joggers. Um, so how are those? How are those? They look nice, don't they? Jack, come say hello. He's so fed up with me because I have been filling my new fridge that's arrived this morning. It's awesome. It's more or less the same height and depth as the other one, but so much more room and it's got a special vegetable drawer, a meat and fish drawer. Um, also, I didn't get a chance to show you because it went into slow-mo. These beautiful new sneakers that have been gifted to me. Look, they've got a little zip on the side. Um, but most importantly, I'm not being paid. This is not a paid collaboration. They've gifted them to me because they're lovely. They're called Soul Bliss. Doesn't look very elegant, does it? So Soul Bliss is a company that is really looking after women over 50, women of any age. Um, because they make shoes wide enough for women who have bunions. I don't have bunions, but as I get older, my shoes, my feet, not my shoes, my feet are spreading more and more. My little toenails sort of bending in. I'm finding most shoes really uncomfortable for long periods. Don't know why I'm wearing glasses. Sun keeps going in and out. Do you like the longer fringe, by the way? I love a longer fringe because it means I can have a quiff and a longer fringe. More on that another week. So um, I'm really impressed with them. They are so comfortable. So what I want to do is try and find a store in London where I can go and try on heels. Because if I could find some lovely heels with platforms that aren't boots, sorry, that are really comfortable, I would be utterly made up. Right, so I'm going to walk this poor dog who's been waiting all morning while I've been filling the fridge and then ringing up the people I bought it from. I don't understand. Um, so hopefully it will all work and we'll all be fine and my veg won't go off anymore. God, it was a disaster. And the fruit. Everything was going off and there's condensation everywhere. So well worth the um, money and also I have much more space for Christmas. Right, next time you see me, I'll be in London. See you soon. Oh, doesn't it look nice? Right outside the hotel, beginning to look Christmassy as well. Hello, I'm in London town at the Premier Inn Hub in Covent Garden again. There's nothing much to see because it's tiny. It's a hub. It's adequate, especially for one night. Ooh, and that's the bed. You've seen it before, but I mean, literally, that's it. You cannot swing a cat in it, but it's very comfortable and very quiet. 
and I just thought I'd pop in to show you what I'm wearing. Those of you who follow me on Instagram will have seen this already. This is another keeper outfit. Very, very old vintage shirt and very, very old pretend, pretend vintage trousers. There you go, with the boots. One person on Instagram didn't like the trousers. I didn't actually ask. Why do people tell you things <laughs> you don't ask? I wasn't asking, should I keep it? I like this outfit and 99.9% .9 of you do as well. So I'm sorry it's a repetition, but I thought be comfortable. It's got quite chilly. So I'm wearing the brown jacket again. And tonight I am going to see um, my favorite DJ. This is not a dancing night. This is a podcast, a live podcast evening with Chris Moyles, who I've been listening to since the mid 80s on the radio. First Radio 1, now Radio X. Um, he's like Marmite. People either love him or hate him. Um, I don't know what I look like looking in the mirror, but at least you can see me. Sorry, let's put it down there. So I'm going on my own because nobody I know likes him as much as me. And also, um, he did actually say on the radio, it's a sellout. It's at the Odeon in Leicester Square. And he did actually say lots of people are coming on their own. So don't be put off. Come on your own. So um, I can't wait. Do things that give you joy, even if you do them on your own. I'm going to put a yellow scarf on now. Um, jazz up myself a bit more. Ooh, I heard somebody. Okay. I will report back tomorrow. Strange noises in this room. I really enjoyed that. The absolutely brilliant beginning and most of it I laughed a lot. But a lot of it was unexpected, um, not scripted. Very funny in parts. Anyway, just look at Leicester Square. It's um, about quarter past nine on a Sunday evening. It's really, really busy. Busy. I don't know where all these people are coming from. I'll show you. But mad busy. Anyway, really enjoyed myself at the Chris Moyles live show. See how busy it is? Where are they all going? Where are they all coming from? Well, I think this lots are coming from my show. I guess the movies are to open as well, aren't they? That'll be it. Anyway, very busy for a Sunday night. So a little glimpse of Leicester Square before we get back to the hotel. I sound drunk, I'm not at all drunk. I had to drink about three hours ago with my supper. God, it's noisy here. I'm in Covent Garden, good morning. I haven't had time to do the outfit, but you know the blouse. It's a beautiful new one. What are they doing? It's the cobbles. Anyway, we're off to the London Transport Museum. Come with me. Oh, this is a grand entrance, isn't it? How lovely. I hope you can hear me, because I've got a mask on. Train spotters delight. Gosh, this must be one of the first tubes. They all smoked then, of course, they smoked up to the mid 80s in the underground. Can you believe that? This is so worth a visit. So interesting. Just do it out of school holidays because it's term time now and it's still full of kids making the most awful noise I can't record. 
As usual, I'm running out of battery, but I thought I'd give you a quick glimpse of Covent Garden while it's relatively quiet. Hello. What do these glasses look like? Hello. Um, another addendum. I think I did this with that tank top. What am I holding? These are Jack's nappies. Little incontinent old man. Um, so, yes, I just put the shirt out and I think that looks far more interesting. Would you agree? Oh, look, look, I'm posing. Somebody wrote and said, I'm so glad you're not one of those who poses all the time. I know what she means. So I'm posing just for those who do enjoy a good pose. <laughs> so, yes, better, isn't it? More flattering. More flattering, also more interesting. So you can see more of the shirt. So I'm going to get, these are close work, I'm going to get another tank top in a different colour for all my very bright black ones. Do you like the way I just do everything um, with you watching? That's better. I didn't mean to pull my hair back. I've got to do some um, clearing of the rubbish outside and then get on with a bit of editing for a very big job, which you will see not till January, maybe between Christmas and January. Hello, uh, another outfit. I'm so glad you're enjoying these because this is much easier for me than worrying about the lights and worrying about filming when I'm out and about, um, upsetting my friends because I keep putting the camera out. So, um, this is another keeper. Look, I've got the biker boots on. I've got a top tip coming up for those. Um, leggings underneath, because it's cold. Petticoat underneath. And this is how I went out yesterday. And then I put these on and got huge compliments. When in fact, when I went in to my favorite, one of my favorite restaurants, Coats in Brighton, the manager, Jules, there knows me from another life. Is it messy? Oh, well, it's just proof that I use my mat, if you can see that. I think there's recycling going on over here. Um, anyway, yes, she came up and said, is that a Vivian Westwood dress? No, it's a very old dress that I got in Zara in all places, Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi? About five years ago on my way to Oz. No, I wasn't on my way to Oz. I just had a little holiday there, using up my air miles. Oh, do you remember those days when we just flew and flew and flew? Well, we have to plant more trees if we're going to go back to those days. Anyway, how cool is this? I love this because it's got a wobbly, I like this, a little slit and a wobbly, you know, it's not buttoned evening, a drop waist even evening. It's not buttoned evenly and it's got a dropped waist. So I love that about it. So that was my outfit for yesterday. I met a friend for an early movie, 12.15, a bit early for both of us with our busy mornings, before we went for a late lunch. And we went to see Spencer. Have you heard about Spencer? About Princess Diana and one Christmas she spent at Sandringham? If you want my personal opinion and Mary's and the three ladies in front of us, it was the worst film I have ever seen. Well, possibly not the worst, but it's certainly in the top 10 of the worst films I've ever seen. I hated the music. I hated the acting, the script. I don't know whether really good actors in it, but maybe it was the appalling script. It was an absolutely unbelievably unreal plot they made her out to be a complete nut job um i was very upset i thought it's a very 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 poor film and i do hope her sons never watch it and they just all came out as terrible people not fair not with our lovely queenie um whatever you feel about princess diana yes she had problems she was a beautiful woman and she did find happiness in the end. And the way they depicted her was just, anyway, I hated it. 
I couldn't wait to get out of there and nor could Mary. Um, so that's five people. Um, it's probably some very arty, trendy director. I usually love art, arty direction. And it was indeed lovely direction, but I hated all the rest of it. Do let me know if you see it and what you think. Right, I'm in Eternal, my other place where I bring my clothes. <gasps> Got lots of money to pick up today. But of course, I've swapped some things. Just like this lady. This is Daisy. Say hi, Daisy. Hi. She's a new follower. New follower. She brought in this coat. I thought you wanted to be this coat. <laughs> And show them what you got. Oh, so I it for an even better one. <laughs> but we're doing this very lovely. well, girls and boys, because we brought in clothes and we're getting other clothes in exchange. <laughs> and this is Sally, the owner. Hello. And, and this is Rachel. Rachel, hello, Rachel. Hello. Right, let me just show. <laughs> we get money back as well. Well, I haven't finished looking round yet. Oh, you're going to spend it all, I know. Oh, Daisy, don't. Stop Lovely it. meeting Lovely you. Meeting you. See you later. Bye. Bye. I like this. I like this <laughs> bum bag. Do you got any other bum bags, Sally? No. Anyway, Rachel and or Sally are going to show you what I've already found, but I haven't finished mooching yet. Thank you. Well, this, I'm not wearing the right trousers, but it's one of these tie-ups, which will be great in the summer, but not for the winter, because it would tuck in for the winter. Meanwhile, you won't believe this, another bloody coat. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to get rid of the Zara black padded one because this is much nicer. Love your boots. And it's Burberry and it's pure wool. And I thought it said 825 pounds, which for pre loved is rather a lot. Could be though. But it was. Could be, could be. But it's only 85 pounds. I love your boots. Thank you, aren't they great? There we go, what do you think of this? Gorgeous. And it's free because I've swapped my clothes. £85, not 850 I wonder what it was originally. Thank you, darling. Um, anyway, uh, yes, look. I'm wearing the lovely pre loved shirt I found that you've just seen in the shop. Um, and because it's got very cold, I'm putting my little vest on all the places I got this stuff below. But um, if you're worried about a tummy, then the answer is, because I can't wear this shirt out because it's a tie up as you saw, um, is get a black bum bag. Uh, but I'm so bad. I also, well, because I, she owed me about 120 quid for clothes um, that, she had sold on my behalf all that decluttering paid off so um unbelievably i got that beautiful burberry jacket and i think all i spent in the end because i found something else was 34 pounds so a burberry jacket and look at this coat sadly i didn't take it to london for my birthday week uh, because it suddenly got bitterly cold i actually think it would be fine if i was going by cab um to the theater i think i'm just going to take a bigger case to london next time because look how smart this is and with a thick woolly um it would have been warm enough with gloves and a hat but look it's all lined inside it's made in italy it was probably very expensive I think you'll like, you'll, I think you'll understand how I could not say no when it was only costing me 35 quid. I think it was 34. The only problem is you can't do it up. But hey, you know, we could just go, burr, isn't it? Burr. So what do you think, girls and boys? Haven't I done well? So you will see next time, probably within the week, 
or just a bit over, um, my time in London and what I wore up there, something new, something old, something pre-loved, um, except that I didn't have enough time to film, so lots of it will be filmed here. Uh, but I had an amazing time, but I'll tell you more about that next time. Anyway, I just wanted to say I hope you've enjoyed all the clothes. I thoroughly enjoyed trying on outfits. Oh, yes, I don't show you the disasters, but I did. I think, no, you won't see it. Um, I've got one of my favourite green tops that I got from Two Clothing, Green Speckled, and I teamed it with the Lucy Dodwell uh, car key joggers. When it came to editing time, I looked at the outfit. I thought, no, 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 this is not good. I know I should show you the bad stuff as well. Um, maybe I'll just pop a bit in here. Then you'll see how awful it looked. So, yes, these can't be high. It's like the paper bag trousers thing again, isn't it? I thought that it would be better if they were lower. They don't look better lower because I've got, like so many of us this age, a thick waist. They looked all right higher, but actually the two greens didn't go together. So you see, I'm making mistakes, filming them, and then going, no, 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 that's not an outfit, and you don't even get to see them. But at least I show you a glimpse. So all that remains for me to say is, Burr, it's very, very chilly in England now. We're going to have a very cold weekend. Minus one at night. It's probably going to snow up north um, by the time you see this. Well, I'm going to get it up for 10 o'clock Sunday. So you should be, all of those in the UK, will be warm and toasty sitting in bed going, oh, she's done a vlog at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning at last. Um, so suffice to say, I've had a wonderful week. You'll see more of that next time. Um, thank you for letting me try all my outfits out on you. The wardrobe is getting easier and easier to pick items from. And thank you. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. And I will see you very soon.